Huh? What do you think about this setup? It's a little bit different than a regular one and the audio might not be as good, but the background looks dope in my opinion. But check this out. This is the MSI Creator Z16P. The MSI Creator Z16P is a high-end computer that I've been using for the last couple of weeks to edit a couple of my videos on. It is a PC, which I'm not comfortable with using to begin with because I'm a Mac user, but MSI reached out to me and asked me if I want to try this computer out. And I was very intrigued to see how I would be able to integrate this computer into my workflow. And to be able to do that, I've actually started to getting to know DaVinci Resolve, even though I'm not a pro, but the basics of DaVinci Resolve is basically like cutting the same as Final Cut Pro. The exterior of this computer looks incredibly sleek. It is definitely feeling like a high-end laptop. It has one USB-A port and two USB-C ports, one of them being a Thunderbolt 4 port that you can have you know, your uh, monitor charging the computer and all that good stuff that you get with the Thunderbolt 4 port. And if you're working a lot with videos, then it's also very important for transfer speeds, for example, to have a high speed SSD so that you can work straight from this and then transfer the different memory cards and devices that you got onto your SSD as well. It also has a headphone jack and an SD card reader, which my current computer does not have. The keyboard feels incredibly good to type on and I really like the feel when you touch the keys. It's one of those things that's very hard to explain, but I'm sitting on a 2020 MacBook Pro and I'm not a huge fan of those keys at all. They feel too flat and they don't bounce back the way that I want it to, but this is more like a haptic feedback. It feels good to the touch when you're using it. And when you're sitting down typing on it, it actually tracks your keystrokes and it looks really, really sci-fi-esque when you can see which kind of keys you've been typing on. So basically how it works is that when you hit one key, it lights up in a different color and then slowly fades back to red. I really love this. I don't know why. It just feels good when you're typing at the keyboard and it also gives you a more immersive feeling when you're using it. Up top of the keyboard, you have all the different function buttons, the brightness and all that stuff that you expect from a computer nowadays. But this version also does have a numpad here on the right hand side and that is something that the previous generation did not have. Being able to have a numpad at the laptop when you're doing your accounting, when you're doing a bunch of calculating, when you're gonna send an offer to a client, something similar, it is just so good to be able to have that there, not use the numbers up top. It might just be a personal preference, but I really like this keyboard layout and I don't think that having the numpad there like takes anything away. When you use the computer, the first thing that you'll notice is the screen. It is incredibly bright, incredibly sharp, and very, very vibrant to look at. It looks so good. The monitor also has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of 16 by nine. And the difference is basically that it gives you a little bit of extra pixels on the vertical side of the monitor. And this is great when you want to have a little bit more screen real estate to be able to utilize multitasking functions or maybe scrub through some different footage at the same time as you're editing. The brightness of this screen is what I think punches me in the face straight away because it looks so good to just look at. And when you're editing photos or when you're editing videos, it definitely helps giving you the look that you strive for. Because sometimes, you know, when you're sitting by your computer and it has a very dull screen and not bright enough, it can make your photos feel not the way that you want to. But here it feels very much alive. And I think that having a good monitor or a good screen is one of the key features that I want to have in laptop as a creator. It also has an HDR support so that you can look at HDR content on YouTube or Netflix or whatever kind of uh, source that you're using. And the next most impressive thing with the screen is the refresh rate. This has 165 hertz of refresh rate and it feels, it feels like a sticker that you can move because the screen is so bright 
and also refreshes so fast. So when you're using the mouse, it feels like it's actually moving in real time with your finger. And I think that the best way to explain it is that jumping between this and my iPad Pro M1 makes my iPad feel slow because the screen is not refreshing at 165 hertz. And since the trackpad is incredibly responsive, it feels very good to use, but it is also a touchscreen, which I think is awesome because then you can use it as a tablet if you want to do that. You can have newspaper on one side and then you can have YouTube on the other side. And it actually feels very good. And this is something that I have been having a hard time, you know, accepting on a laptop before. But now I think that this makes it feel alive, mainly because you have the refresh rate, which makes it feel like you're actually touching the thing that you're moving around, which is super weird, but it's such a cool feeling when you're able to uh, able to utilize it like this. And being able to use the touch screen when you're doing some color grading to your videos or maybe editing your photos is something that I think is pretty cool because it combines the best of a laptop, but also a tablet. When I've been using this to edit in Photoshop, I've noticed absolutely zero lag. I think it works flawlessly and it definitely gives you a good experience when you can use both the trackpad or go with the touch screen. And as I said previously, you know, getting your images to actually pop out of the screen because of the brightness of the monitor is something that I like a whole lot. And you're probably wondering if I would be able to use this on a daily basis to edit my vlogs with. And the answer is yes. It does manage to not only play back my videos in real time without dropping frames, but also scrolling back and forth on timeline, cutting, and then just doing a slight color grading to the clips as well. I think that it works great. And then again, being able to connect this to my monitors in my desk with the Thunderbolt port is something that I think is golden because then you can have one cable to rule them all. When it comes to battery life, I wouldn't say that it is mind blowing. It's going to require a lot of power when you're having your screen at a high refresh rate. So if you're willing to reduce the refresh rate, then you're gonna get a lot more battery from your computer. But when you're doing a lot of heavy editing and stuff like that, I've gotten around one, one and a half hour of constant performance from this computer. Then again, you're doing some heavy video editing or photo editing, but when you're just reading online on newspapers and then doing the slow so fast, we're saying Swedish, then I think you're gonna get a lot more power from the battery. So it totally depends on how you use the computer and what your main task that you're throwing at it is going to be. I've been having a blast using this computer for the last couple of weeks and uh, I would love to know what you think about this computer. So do drop a comment down below and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that right here. And uh, oh, I will see you in the next video. Peter from Sweden. Goodbye, I say.